Hello, good morning and uh, welcome to my video. So if you haven't done already, please do uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos if you can. And as ever, I love to hear your comments. So what I wanted to do today is something again, um, I'm actually quite keen to share with you in real time what's happening in, in with my art. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to share with you today is this idea of having a series that you may well have shown or exhibited and you may well have sold some of and what do you then do subsequently if you feel if you feel that you might want to 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 continue with that series um and the reason i'm talking about that is because the very last group of works i did for my uh landscape inside out exhibition was all about the panoramic views uh, around Mosley of the moors and the valleys and the grassland and the woodland. And I spent a lot of time doing an awful, awful lot of exploratory work. And then subsequently I did a group of paintings, some of them larger than others. And there was about nine that were exhibited and then others that, that didn't kind of make it at that point. And somebody said to me a few weeks ago, oh, are you moving on from that now? And it really made me think I was actually quite, well, no, I haven't finished with that yet. So it's kind of, for me, it's like, how do you know, the question, how do you know if you've got a series that is finished and you need to move on from it or that you need to continue with? And I guess that's a very personal thing. But for me, it's all about are you still observing, noticing and um, being interested and fascinated by that particular series and subject matter? But more and also very related to that is, have you said what you wanted to say or are there other things that you want to say? And I realised that for me, I hadn't had a chance to fully explore the panoramic view there's so much that one could do. I mean, you could go on for almost a lifetime doing that. But in terms of now, uh, there are some things I wanted to say now. So I wanted to continue. And so I had one that hadn't made it because it wasn't at, at a finished enough stage. It wasn't a, it hadn't moved through the process. And so the one on my drawing board here, interestingly, last week, I just laid into it. So what I want to really talk about is firstly what I've just been mentioning which is how do you know whether or not you should continue and also how do you keep it fresh and exciting and interesting because the last thing you want to be doing is repeating what you'd already said in other paintings and feeling quite laborious about it and process driven. You want to feel excited and refreshed and you want to be saying things that you feel are different and and take it to another uh, level or another observation uh, you know with 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 that work and so that's what I'm just really going to talk about it's not going to be a long video I just wanted to share with you where I'm at with it so this one case in point this started a half hour 40 minute session very differently and I just laid into it quite intuitively mixed up some paints I liked and just got going and hopefully you can see the influence of those grassy banks and the weather we've had and the real sort of rich orange gold nature of what's going on with all of the grasses that I've been talking about. And that is now being brought into this group. So it's all very well. I had one started and I, and I stuck, continued with it, but that's not, it's not possible to keep it fresh and exciting and just kind of keep laboring on this one. So what I'm gonna do, and which I think is quite a nice thing to do if you're returning to a group, if you're continuing like I am, is to add to them. You are adding, bulking it up if you like, you're adding another few. So I am going to add another couple. So I'm working on three um, all at the same time because it was clear to me from working on this one for 40 minutes that I needed to move on to something else. I needed to stop working on this one and getting overly precious with it because that's what happens. You need to keep keeping it fresh. It's one of the big advantages of working in series. You work on one for a while, you move on, you move on. You learn from one, you try and uh, try and translate that into the other paintings and so on. So that's where I'm at. So I've now started another one. 
and um, I've started it. It looks a bit of a dog's breakfast, but that's because I've literally, and I'll show you, I've spent, I've, I'll share a very quick, fast video just to show you what I was doing with that. So all I'm doing here is I'm actually cutting or tearing collage papers of a variety of, of different things, some plain, some patterned, and uh, I'm sticking them down with golden gloss medium and then I'm coating the surface with golden gloss medium uh, before painting. And um, I've, what I'm doing with these additional two is to start them in the same way that this was started, which is not the way I always do it, but these are some it's just overlaying collage onto the surface before I start painting and starting with the collage base and a lot of it will get covered up and evolved and so on this one's changed dramatically so will that one and then so will the third one and the final thing I wanted to really talk about was that you need to keep your your mind excited and inspired. So in a way for me, um, I need fresh studies and that's what I've been doing over the last few weeks. And what you can also do is, I did a lot, as you know, I'm very keen on these thumbnail drawings, paintings, however, whatever media. I do them out on location, I do them in the studio. And so I had so many of these from my previous studio sessions. And what I did was I had 50, 60 of them and I flicked through them really quickly and put ones aside that were speaking to me, that I was noticing this, notice what you notice again. And I came up with a little group of them. And these, I think, are all about those rich gold banks, the movement of the grasses, the textures, the colours and so on. So that's now my little inspiration. That's I've leafed through 60 of them and come up with those. They may or may not be helpful. Um, I've done lots of more studies outside with the grasses. Um, I can show you some of those. Um, what that is. Uh, things like this, um, which are just, again, um, keeping it loose and free, very quick. These were done in about 15 minutes um, with paint and so on. Oh, I'm dropping all my bits. That's because I've mixed them up and I'd forgotten I'd mixed them up. Some are, some are better than others. This is one of my, I'll show you one of my favourite ones uh, because it says, says something to me, that one. So those will be uh, in further inspiration. I might cut them up. I might do things with them. I might do studies of these studies in the studio as a way of warming up, ready for these three panels. And last week I did some really quick tiny ones amongst the grasses. So again, they might be uh, of relevance. So it's all about uh, making sure, sorry about me chucking all those bits everywhere. That was because I, I piled things up and I'd forgotten. Um, so it's all about keeping it fresh, having some new material, some thoughts. And I will do some writing as well, some journaling. What is it that, why do I want to come back to these is the question. What is it that I want to say now? Um, why is that different? And trying to sort of unpick that a little bit. And of course, some of that unpicking happens on the paintings and some of it happens in your journal. And by the way, I am going, I am developing um, a sketchbook uh, course, uh, which is all about the different sorts of ways I use my sketchbook out and about in the studio for writing, for painting and so on. Uh, but that uh, is coming, coming later. Um, but it's, 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 it's that sort of um, interrogation really so that you can keep things fresh and keep things moving. So as I said, this is the first one. I'm going to add two more and I'll probably share a video as I'm as I'm developing them. Um, but in addition to that, as I've alluded in previous videos, I'm also working myself up for something to happen in parallel, some, for some other explorations. It will be about landscape. It will almost certainly be about the vegetation and the organic nature of the vegetation and the wild vegetation and so on. But that's something for another day. What I wanted to do here really is just to share with you this idea of continuing with a series you've already started and finished some paintings from and how you keep that fresh. So I hope that was helpful. As ever, love to hear your comments and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. So thanks a lot. See you again. Bye bye.